Citizens, it's that time you are officially in the Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I am the Wizard Uncle James. Uh, I would love for you to become an active citizen of the Alert Zone. You know how you can do that. Subscribe button, bell so you can be notified. We try to find content, giving the video a like, sharing, and all that good stuff. So I am out here today in Elbion, Iowa, out at the public hunt land again. It's freezing damn cold out here. Got my key. Uh, I have my 38 Taurus revolver. Uh, it is loaded because I'm going to fire a couple rounds. I don't know if y'all guys can see that. Got the Winchesters in here. And um, it's a snub nose. And we're going to fire a couple shots out of it. And then we're going to have a conversation about revolvers. So. Without further ado. It is clear. Uh, sorry about that. Alrighty. So I got five shells that came out of there um not too bad uh especially because i haven't been out doing too many physical things today uh it made it easy uh so i locked it back and as you notice the cylinder turns just let me see if we can get that just a little bit and it stops with the lock on, that's how you prevent these things from uh, shooting. Now, when you're carrying a revolver, you can't have this lock because if you got to get busy, you got to get busy. So, I know a lot of new gun owners think that this is practical in the sense of, I'm going to get me a little bitty gun and that's just going to be that and I'm not going to have any issues. All firearms have an up and down side to it, pretty much. Sometimes it's the size, sometimes it's the magazine capacity, sometimes it's striker fire, sometimes it's hammer fire. There's just different reasons that they may have something that may not be good for you. And revolvers have almost unmatched reliability. They, they're very, very reliable. You don't have to worry about jams. The problem is you have to get used to carrying them you have to make sure you don't pull the hammer back. Um, so, I see a lot of new gun owners that go out and get revolvers for their first guns. And then they wind up not defending themselves because they're afraid of the gun. The gun is always locked up. They're afraid they're going to pull the hammer back. I say this. Learn how to carry a firearm before you get a revolver. And when you get a revolver, practice. Practice carrying that firearm and get yourself used to it. So that way, if something happens, you feel comfortable knowing you can just grab and squeeze. Um, you don't want to walk around with this thing locked, like I said, because it won't function. And you never know when it's going to happen that you're going to have to use it. But on the other hand, for those of us who've been around firearms for a long time, you know, you can't go wrong with a revolver. Uh, I do carry this. It's a five shot. Like I said, it's a Taurus. I forget the model number for everybody that's the uh the 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 real you know what model number is it? Yeah, it's starting to damn snow out here, but nevertheless. Um I do love carrying this thing. Uh I carry it sometimes, it just depends. Usually I carry this thing when I'm going run a quick errand or something like that. I don't usually have it on me all day because well, capacity, what have you. And, you know, I mean, like I said, if I'm going to run to grab something or maybe I'm just going to take a ride in the car or whatever, I might throw the revolver, you know, unlock it, throw the revolver on the panel there and roll with it because it's going to get me out of a jam. This is not meant for a fire fight. This is meant only to get you out of a jam. It's five rounds. It's deadly now. Because a 38 snub used to be the king of the streets if you old school back in the day. Remember them old Godfather movies and all that shit? They used to roll with the 38s. Um, 
But nevertheless, you can't go wrong with this. I just say like all firearms, get it and practice with it. You don't have to worry about it jamming pretty much. Just get it and practice with it and get used to carrying it because there's a little bit more care carrying a revolver than it is a semi-automatic. Basically, that's a striker fire. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Till next time, stay safe, stay on. Stay on high, high alert.